Today I'm going to demonstrate how games can be used as an alternative to using worksheets. They certainly are far more engaging. The templates I'm going to be used today can be found in the members website on kinderplans.com in the transportation theme. However, you can certainly make these on your own without being a member. This is called the alphabet review game because this is a review for the children. If they were using the alphabet program, they'd be familiar with all the sounds and the pictures related to it. Now this game is played in partners. Player number one would pick up a card and the letter is M. Do they have a picture that starts with that sound on their game board? Yes, they do. It is a mouse. Player two would pick up a card. Do they have a picture that starts with that sound? No, they don't. So this would be put in the discarded pile. After all the cards have been used, then the children would go to the discarded pile. The person that becomes the winner is the person that is the first one to fill up their game board. And the children love this game, and it's a wonderful game to play as an alphabet review. This is an extension of the previous game we saw. The only difference is that the words are printed beside the picture. This can provide further clues for the children. They can use the initial letter they see in the word and match it up to the letter they pull. And also for younger children, you can just use this game as a picture match. There are varying ways that you can use this game. This will differ according to the needs of your children. This is a partner game. Each partner would have a game board that looks like this. And if you notice the blank squares here, you can put whatever you wish to put on there depending on the skill you'd like the children to learn. In this situation, I put sight words, but it may be maybe a color, it may be a shape. It depends on what you're working towards. Uh, I will demonstrate how to play the game. The children shake the die. They move their pair according to what it says on the die. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've landed on truck. So if you're working with younger children, they would put their bingo chip on the matching picture, which would be truck. If you're working with older children, you want to, you're working with rhyme. So they would put their bingo chip on the word duck. Uh, the player who uh, has all their, their game board filled with bingo chips would be the winner. Again, this is a wonderful game and the children enjoy it and it can vary according to the needs of your children. This concludes our first in a series of videos. I hope you found the suggestions helpful. This is Elaine from kinderplans.com.